guys i cannot believe it is the end of march time literally just flew by and i have so much products this month like i say every month but this month is actually ridiculous i don't know how it happened actually i do know how it happened i like to use like things at the same time so i might have two hand creams going at the same time or two like lipsticks or whatever <laughs> Let me just go straight into it because there's a lot of product like I said. The first thing I want to show you is actually this um, crazy naive natural deep cleansing oil and this I believe this is actually um, olive oil. I bought this when I was um, in LA which was like a long time ago and then I don't know why it took me so long to finish this. I like to use different makeup removers at the same time so I don't always use this every night so that's why it's taking me a while but anyways this is a great makeup remover cleanser. I know a lot of you girls out there might love the Shu Uramura um, cleansing oils and this is kind of similar to that. It doesn't irritate the eyes which is great um, and also does remove a lot of the waterproof mascaras and waterproof like eyeliners and things like that really well. The only the only downside to this is because it is oil of oil, it is a little bit um, rich so if you have extremely oily skin and you know might not be really keen on putting extra oil of oil on your face. So this is for something who might have like normal to dry or if not um, combination skin. I think combination skin can get past this, okay? This month I finished up the Ugly Farm Apple Lip and Eye Makeup Remover. This is so cute. I got this because it said Ugly Farm. Um, this actually has a little bit of like shimmer through it. So if you're kind of allergic to like glitter and shimmer and things like that, I would avoid that because it does kind of leave a little bit of like shimmery like sheen to it after you you've actually removed your makeup. You would not use this anywhere else on the face except for your eyes and lips. It's so gentle on the eyes, it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. Um, it smells really nice, it smells like apples, like green apples. The SK2 Facial Treatment Clear Lotion, you've probably seen this in a lot of my uh, videos already. I, uh, I went back to using this because I used this before, like years ago when I used to work for them and I loved it then already but um, went back to this because Ravi uh, went on about how great this was great for acne. Um, I actually never thought this was great for acne when I was actually working for the company because um, SK2 is known for uh, you know anti-aging, it's for skin maintenance, it helps to basically do everything else except for acne like they don't really um, advertise the brand as an acne fighting you know line so I never really associated acne with something like this but anyways when 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 Ravi talked about how this actually helped her acne I was like oh my god I have to go back and try this and I have to say that um, it doesn't like treat acne so as as much but it does help maintain your skin from, like to prevent it from breaking out so if you were breaking out or if you were like on the verge of breaking out I guess this would be great this one does not dry your skin it still makes just it still leaves your skin nice and silky and soft and uh, it doesn't have a like an overpowering scent and it does last quite a while because I've had this for a while the only downside to this I have to say is because it's a glass bottle so it's not really travel friendly bio true inspired by bi biology for your eyes um, solution. I want to mention this because I did show my other one in a previous um, empties which is like the the style brand revenue or review whatever after using this I have to say that I actually prefer this a lot better I think this is probably like a dollar more expensive or something like that but it's great for those who have sensitive eyes because I wear contacts like almost every day and because uh, my eyes are probably a lot more sensitive than it would it used to be when I didn't wear contacts um, and a lot of makeup so I find that using this to help clean out the um, the contact lenses before I'm actually wearing them is actually great for your eyes and also it allows my eyes to be a bit more hydrated throughout the day so I find that this actually does make a difference. It's Kay Somerville's Exfoliate. This is probably one of the cutest packaging I've seen in terms of exfoliators. It has a smiley face on the top and also on the bottom here. Um, this is the travel size because this is only 0.5 ounces. I'm pretty sure you can get the full size in their line. Um, I got this on my way checking out of Sephora. I definitely recommend this if you have sensitive skin. It doesn't leave your skin tender and raw after you've exfoliated. Exfoli exfoliated. I like to use it on my T-zone, especially my nose and my my jawline as well. My jaw. No, this is my chin. I like to use this around my nose and my chin. And I think it does wonders for like this kind of like daily exfoliate exfoliate exfoliating. Because I can't believe I keep saying exfoliating. This obviously this like PR is working because I've been t saying that. It's actually a green texture if you can see um, and it smells like a, a cross between like a herbal slash essential oil so it's quite you know aromatic it feels really relaxing it's kind of like giving yourself a fancy um, facial at home so I do definitely ex uh, recommend this 100%. This is the Kerastase 
Oleo Relax um, Oil. I, this is like kind of like my holy grail go-to oil for all my hair stuff. I've used this for many years already, um, so I, there's nothing else I can say about this apart from how wonderful it is. I know everybody loves this product as well. Um, I like this because it doesn't leave your hair greasy or oily, but it also, you can see a drastic improvement in the quality of your hair. So that's why a lot of you guys ask me, oh my God, your hair is so healthy. It looks so in like, it looks so healthy in, in videos, even though my hair has been like, tormented because I dye my hair really often because my hair like, I can't stand like regrowth so what I do is uh, I use this every day well every time I wash my hair before I blow dry and after I blow dry so I find that this does help protect my hair even though you know I've done so much to it botanical beauty grown organic uh, body cream this is actually made in Australia and this was given to me by um, my friend for my birthday um, I love 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 this i can't really believe i finished this so quickly this literally lasted me like not even half a month i think i finished this within like two weeks this is so good i was so in love with the texture i was so in love with the fact that it wasn't like an overwhelming scent so i can still wear like the perfumes that i want to wear without having it you know clash with you know clash with it it's great for people who have really really sensitive skin and i find that it helps with like dry patches because it was it's still cold in new york i don't know why it's already april like seriously the next one this is the Flor flora botanica perfume body lotion this this came with the actual perfume set so I finished the body cream already but I still have some of the perfume left this is actually hundred mils which is 3.4 ounces and it, it's great because it smells exactly like the perfume sometimes if I don't want to wear the perfume I can just wear this by itself and I can still smell amazing so definitely recommend this I don't think they actually sell this separately so unfortunately you can only get this in a pack but hopefully they'll make this you know separately in the future the Tude house good luck you are the best Hand cream. This is so cute. My cousin sent me this from um, from China. Uh, I got. I use this like at home. It just sits on my table like this, like a little person, and just stares at you. So you're like, oh, there you are, and then you can like moisturize your hands. It just smells like a. It just it smells like pretty much all Korean products, which is like a really nice. It reminds me of like my childhood, like a candy smell, like a like a, not an overpowering sweet candy, but like a nice, you know, fruity candy smell. Does that make sense? On a note of another hand cream, this is the one that I got when I was traveling to Melbourne, the Penguin Island, and I got this because it was shaped of a penguin. And when I first saw this, I was like, what is this? But then it's actually hand cream. Because it's purple, this is the lavender scent. I think they also come in like a rose scent, so it was like a pink penguin as well. I like the lavender scent because I like this be especially before going to bed because you can moisturize your hands and lavender helps to relax and calm you. So it feels like a nice soothing time to like, you know, do this like, ritual before you go to bed it's a different it's not a it's not a lotion texture it's almost like a cream texture so you actually have to scoop it out and then you can spread it all across your hand and it a little bit goes a long way so i was pretty amazed with this and this lasted me a really long time the next thing is the this is the uv essential precision chanel um, sunscreen the spf 50 pa triple plus i like this one because it doesn't break me out it also has whitening properties and it's, it looks great under makeup. So I feel like, you know, if you want a overall great, you know, like sunscreen that doesn't, you know, it's not too oily and it also has brightening properties, why not go for something like this? Butter London Hardware Top Coat. I have had this for a long time and the reason why I want to include this as an empty is because although it's not completely finished, but the, the, the top coat is getting a little bit too gooey and gunky so I don't want to continue using this because it can actually alter the appearance of the nail polish that you wear underneath because I am such a big person on top coats I always always wear a top coat no matter what nail polish I'm wearing whether it's like drugstore or high-end nail polishes I always want to wear a top coat because I find that it does extend the life of your nail polish so much longer and it makes them look so much better this is the Armani luminous silk foundation in number five the color number five is a perfect match for me all year round because it, I can you know either like warm it up with a bit of bronzer or I can to sort of tone it down with a powder this is such a great a foundation it's something that I kind of like go to if I don't know what foundation to use if that makes any sense I find that with this one I don't go as oily as I usually are with other foundations I think a lot of the foundations that are mattifying actually makes my skin even oilier because my skin's probably thinking oh my god it's so dry I need to produce more oil whereas this one it kind of just keeps my skin normal it's amazing 
amazing. This is the Lancome Hypno Star Waterproof. I got this because it's like a really cute packaging. It's, it has star on it. I think the reason why this is different to other ones is because it's supposed to have like shimmers or micro glitters in there. Um, the reason why I had to throw this out is because this top bit keeps popping off and I'm so sick and tired of having to like pop it back in there. This part is basically kind of like the, um, the filter. For the brush to come out of its tube, it needs to go through this part so that you can remove any excess product on the brush. And by not removing the excess product on the brush, when you apply this to your lashes, your lashes will clump up like mad. Like it will literally just be chunks of mascara on your lashes. So I got so sick of having to pop this back in all the time. So even though it's not completely finished, I'm gonna throw this out because it's really annoying. I don't have time. Ain't nobody have time for this, okay? This is a very general mascara. So if I had like a circle with three dots on them, having one name holding power, one is volume and one is length, it would literally be sitting right in the middle because it does kind of does all of them like evenly. It doesn't give you intense this or intense that or intense that. It's kind of like really general mascara. I hope that makes sense. The M Arch Longwear Brow Liner in the color brunette. This is like kind of similar to, it's designed similar to the uh, like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's like a like a pointy tip and then it has a spoolie on the other side. In terms of color wise, it was great for um, when I had lighter hair. So I use this, you know, all the time. It does run a little bit darker than it, than it looks on the, on the on the website so if you are um, like brunette like dark brunette this will be a perfect match for you it had less product than I had imagined because I was hoping for it to be like literally this long but I think it was only like this long because I finished it so quickly so um, if you were looking for a brow that will last you a month I don't think this will last you a month Chanel illusion Dom in number 82 Emerville okay the reason why I'm throwing this out is not because it's finished but because um look at that i do have to say what happened was because i used to work for chanel and i was sent this as one of the month's allocations but unfortunately when i received this in the packet it was already like um oh, like it wasn't like closed properly so it was kind of already dried a little bit and then because i haven't used this for a while um i when i opened it it kind of cracked and then i can't push it back into what it was before because the texture is completely different and i don't think you can, i don't think you can turn this into a powder eyeshadow either because it was originally made as a cream eyeshadow the color is amazing the finish is amazing but just unfortunately you have to make sure that you tighten the lid because if you don't it turns into this if you're looking for like an overall like um a great eyeshadow base or like just a nice sort of um color like a flush of color through your eyelids that you don't want to wear a lot of color this is the best color to go for and this is the best formula but unfortunately for me it was um bad because i got it sent to me in like when it was half already half opened so i'm looking forward to purchasing a new one that is not opened and that will hopefully be better than this or it would be Last but not least, is not a beauty product, but I wanted to show, wanted to share with you guys because it's so cute. This is the Voldu Spar French Cade Lavender um, candles. I love candles. I love scented candles because it's kind of like the easiest way to like um, make your whole room smell nice without having to spray, you know, perfume or like air freshener. And uh, and I picked this up because it was on sale, and it was so cute because it comes in like a little tin like this. So you can definitely clean it out and then use this as something in the future, like a jewelry box, or you could put cotton pads in there. I don't know. You can you can use this for anything. And that is all. I feel like I've like talked my my brain off. So this is all of my March empties. I hope I haven't like bored you to death or throw you too much information. If you have any questions about any of these products, leave your comment below and I'll answer them for you. And from now on, I will also list everything that I wear on my face to, you know, on my hands and what on my clothes, all in, all in the description box. So make sure you read all of them because it will be on the bottom, which tells you what I'm wearing. It was so great to like get messages from you guys, especially on my Facebook, because I mean, those messages are the reasons why I do what I do. So I I think um, I'm definitely you know looking forward to hear from you guys please excuse me if I don't reply you straight away sometimes I don't get access to um, internet all the time so if I do see them I will definitely reply but thank you guys for everything and I will see you in my next video bye the only thing that freaks me out is if you don't switch if you don't like close this properly the penguins head could be in the back of the body and that freaks me out so much so I'm like People who have OCD or like mono OCD like me wouldn't want something like this because it would just annoy the crap out of you.